Thank you. Move kitchen fishing. Welcome to today's video. G'day guys, Will Kitching here. Welcome back to another video. Thanks so much for joining us. Now, it's coming into snapper season and I know a lot of you are keen to get out there and chase them on lures. I get a lot of questions about what lures to use. So that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. Now, I already have a video teaching you guys how to chase snapper on lures um, on my channel, which I'll leave a link to that in the description. But this video is solely going to be the top three lures for you guys to get started with or the top three lures that I use to chase big snapper. I know that walking into a tackle shop, it can be a little bit overwhelming seeing all those lures just right in front of your face. So hopefully this narrows it down for you and uh, shows you a few lures that have been really working and I'll show you some clips throughout the video actually catching fish on them so you know that I'm not just talking rubbish. All right, let's get straight into it. All right, for starters, one of the most popular ones, Let's talk about soft plastics. A little tip when you're matching up your jig head to your soft plastics, you want to get the hook size right so you don't want it to be too big or too small. So I've found that for a 3 inch plastic, a 3 0 hook is good. For a 4 inch plastic, 4 0. 5 inch soft plastic, 5 0, and so on. Uh, that seems to be a good rule of thumbs. Now, my favorite soft plastics for snapper would have to be the Z men's or Z men's, however you want to say it. Um, not sponsored by anyone at all, but I'm just talking from experience about what I like. Um, now, the reason I like these so much is, um, for starters, the main thing is they are just so tough. Really, really tough compared to any other plastics. Like, you can use other plastics that are similar to catch them, but these things will last you so many fish, even big fish. You can catch several on it before you even have to change plastics. And uh, the other thing is, if you have pickers out there, you're not gonna wind up and realize that half your plastic's been bitten off and you've wasted a whole drift. You know that if these are down there, that it's hard for them to get the tail bitten off and stuff. So yeah, you're always gonna be um, in with a chance. A handy little hint for you, and um, I'll talk about this when we get to the jigs and stuff as well, but snapper absolutely love something wafting down and they love to eat their bait and lures um, as they're on the drop sinking down. So. Anything that you can get that's wafting, snapper absolutely love that. For that reason, I love to use these paddle tails. So as you can see there, plenty of action on those. And even as that's sinking down, that tail's just gonna be kicking away. Or if you're drifting, slowly drifting, that tail's just gonna be kicking all the time. Um, no matter what, whether it's sinking down, swimming along, whatever. Um, so yeah, as I said, snapper absolutely love these ones. and. Um, had a lot of success on the paddle tails. Now, of course, another one that you can use is curl tails. Um, they have a lot of nice action as they sink down as well. But all I know is we've caught plenty of big fish on these paddle tails. So in terms of sizes, this three inch one here, absolutely perfect. We can use this in 25, 30 meters of water and out in 60 meters of water and it still catches fish of all sizes. Catches your panties, catches your really big ones, even these small little lures. They absolutely smash them. That's good fish. Yeah. Got it. Beautiful fish. <laughs> <laughs> On the plastic. How's that? But the other one you can use, I reckon, is really good as a five inch, um, especially if you're wanting to target a bit bigger fish. Five inch is also really good. Now quickly, in terms of colour, this pink one that I've been showing you, for some reason, I have no idea why, but the snapper absolutely love it. Woohoo! Woohoo! I have no idea what it is, um, but once we switched over to this pink um, a couple of years ago, Goodness me, we have been catching some snapper on it. It is unbelievable. So um, the actual color is pink glow, it's called. But yeah, any sort of pink color works really well. 
they are just dynamite. Now, the other thing you can do is if the sun comes up and they're sort of, you know, starting to get a bit finicky and the water might be clean, you can chuck on one of these clear ones, something a bit more natural. And um, yeah, that might get them to bite as well. We've caught them on those as well. Um, something like that. One final thing that I'll say for the soft plastics is if you're using the Z-Mans, these TT Headlocks jig heads are the best for those. If you use other brands, they, the plastic can slip off really easily. Um, it can be a real pain in the butt. So these TT ones are perfect for the Z-Man plastics, but also really good for snapper. They've got a really strong hook, really solid jig heads. All right, next up, let's talk about jigs. And when I mention jigging, I don't mean, you know, your old school knife style jigs that you see guys absolutely ripping up for kingfish and stuff like that. These are used a little bit differently. These sorts of slow pitch jigs or micro jigs, um, as the name suggests, are made to be used slower and have a bit more action in them than the old knife jigs. So as we've already mentioned, snapper love to hit on the drop. And these are shaped so, as you can see, most of the weight there is in the middle. So what happens is, they want to sink a bit like this. And they want to flutter. And snapper absolutely love it. Or the other thing they can do is, they can sort of dart around and waft down like this. So um, yeah, snapper absolutely love that. So you can work them with slow lifts and then just let it sort of drop back down. You just slow lifts, wind up a bit of line or you can even wind while you lift. So that way that jig has time to just flutter down with that loose line. Or you can also work it a little bit quicker, get in a rhythm and just sort of twitch it up and it'll dart side to side as it goes up through the water column. Now, a big tip for these ones is to use what we call dressed assist hooks. So as you can see there, that's got a bit of, you know, tinsely stuff on it, a um, bit of attractant there, and that sort of wafts around. As you can imagine in the current, that assist hook wafts around, and as you're moving the lure, it's going to be moving around as well. And um, as we already mentioned, snapper absolutely love that sort of wafting appearance like that. So yeah, we've even caught snapper while the jig's just been sitting in the rod holder, because this must be up uh, sort of waving around, you know what I mean? Um, and the snapper just absolutely slam it. So a rule of thumb with jigs is uh, people say to use about one gram of weight uh, per meter of depth. So say you're fishing in 60 meters, they might say use a 60 gram jig. Uh, however, I find some days or most of the time with a bit of wind or current, you have to up the size a little bit. So I just carry a range from this size, which is a little 40 gram up to maybe 100 gram or even bigger, 130. Um, so it's good just to have a range and you need to try and keep that jig vertical under the boat to get the best action out of it. So um, yeah, it just pays to have a few different weights to make sure you can try and get that jig vertically under the boat and you're working it straight up and down rather than on a big angle. So that one there is a good example of the shape of a, you know, what we call a slow pitch jig where it's got most of the weight in the middle here and it's a bit lighter at both ends to get a bit of action in it. Now, the final sort of lure that we have here are these, uh, what we call octa jigs. So as you can see, heavy weight. Usually it's not this shape. It can just be a ball on top of this skirt um, or what we have here, which is called like a slider jig where you'll thread this onto your line and it can run up and down, um, but it'll sit down on top of it like that and dance around. But pretty much, once again, that nice dangly presentation that snapper love and a nice heavy weight to get you down there. These are the same sort of concept as your uh, normal metal jigs where you just wanna keep it as vertical as possible. You wanna get it down there. And um, the difference is these ones, you definitely wanna use a lot slower. You don't wanna do any um, you know fast retrieves with this one at all. So with these just slow lifts and dropping it back down or even just a slow wind up and then let it drop back down a few meters and that really gets that skirt, you know, pulsing and dangling around, which the fish love. In fact, one of my favorite ways to use these is actually to drop them down to the bottom, 
wind them up a few meters and then just sit them in the rod holder and let the boat do the work with the swell. You imagine these underwater, just the skirts pulsing, slowly lifting up and down and that way you can fish on the other side of the boat with bait or another jig or something like that and um, all of a sudden that rod in the rod holder usually just starts streaming off. So yeah, they can be dynamite some days. Yeah, it's going alright. Not a monster. But there we go. Just to show the jig works. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Goes to show they like them. He's got both of those assist hooks in him. Now, a little tip for you can be to put a bit of bait on those assist hooks. Just a tiny little bit. And let it hang down below the jig here and that acts as a bit of um, scent and a bit of extra attractant if you don't mind doing that. Once again, for the jigs in terms of colour, um, you know, your pinks, your natural white colours are good, um, your sort of glow colours, even oranges have worked in the past, so yeah, any of those really. Now one final thing that I'll mention that relates to all three of these lures is whatever hooks you're using have to be nice and strong. Uh, snapper are notorious for crushing hooks and straightening hooks if they're not up to scratch. Uh, they're really powerful through the jaw and mouth, so yeah, make sure that whatever hooks you're using are nice and strong. Alright, I hope this has helped point you in the right direction when it comes to some basic lures to get started with snapper fishing, or if you're struggling and, you know, want to know what lures work, I really hope this has helped. And if you do have any other questions about anything that uh, could be related to this or just snapper fishing in general, make sure you leave a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed and share it with a mate if you think it could help them as well. Stay tuned, I've got more videos on the way. Fingers crossed some snapper soon, uh, some more jewfish action and stuff like that. Uh, all sorts of stuff, so stay tuned, there's plenty more videos to come. And until next time guys, tight lines and happy fishing.